all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to get this great vintage look by painting with coffee. For this card, we'll be using our Sketchy Flower Stamp Set. Since I'll be stamping in white ink on white paper, I've done a quick layout of how I want the flowers to look on the card in black. This helps me place the stamps where I want them. I'm going to be using Stampin' Up's White Craft Ink because it stays wet long enough for me to stamp all the flowers and apply the white embossing powder. So let's stamp the, the large sunflower first. And then the small sunflower. the big sketchy flower, but I'm only going to be inking up just part of the stem. I don't want it to go, because I don't want the stem to go over the sunflower. A couple of the buds. I guess I should stamp the daisy looking flower first. Then the bud. And then finally the leaf. And then I'll just add this white embossing powder. And then heat emboss. So I've embossed this paper and I think I want to add another sketchy flower in this blank area. And even though it's not on the sketch, that blank spot is irritating me. So I'm just going to add the flower with just a bit of the stem, stamp, add some embossing powder, and emboss again. To create the different paints for this card, I'm going to use coffee crystals because they dissolve easily in water, and some hot water. Add one teaspoon to the water. I'm using about a half a cup. I'm going to mix and then pour into the palette. This is my lightest shade. Then I'll add another teaspoon of coffee, stir up, pour out into the palette. Add another teaspoon of coffee, pour into the palette. And then finally, another teaspoon of coffee, stir really well, and add that to the palette. You can see the different shades, how it goes from lighter to darker, and I can tell you it smells really good. So let's see what it looks like on watercolor paper. This is the lightest shade. The next lightest shade, slightly darker shade, and the darkest color. And you can see how warm the coffee makes the paper. It looks really pretty. Now I've taped the watercolor paper that we stamped earlier to a board in order to keep it from buckling too much when we add water to the paper. So swipe the paper with water, and just like watercolors, the coffee will spread wherever there's water. So we start with the lightest color. And I'm just doing the background right now. You can kind of see that the flowers are starting to pop because the embossing powder 
keeps the coffee away from where I stamped. I'll go to the next darkest color, or the next lightest color, and start building the color, adding shades. For this technique, it's all about building color. And just like watercolors, it's better to start light and add more to darken. See how the embossing really starts to pop? And I'm just going to add slightly darker. And this paper is getting a little bit wet. So if your card gets too wet, you can dab it with a towel or you let it air dry, or you can use a hair dryer to hasten the drying of, of the paper. I try not to use a heat gun because it could melt the embossing powder. Put in the shadows where you think they should be. I think I want to darken the area between the flowers because that's how it would be in real life and that should also help the flowers pop a little more. This is looking good. Okay, a little darker. Now if the coffee dries, in a hard line and you want it smooth, use a wet brush to smooth out the coffee and just blend it out to avoid getting that hard line. And I think this looks good. I'll let it dry. Now here's the dried card. When I was designing this card in my head, I thought it would look great as a vertical. But now that I see it, I think it would look even better as a horizontal card. So I'll just trim the front of the card to four and a quarter by five and a half. Now to attach the card, I'm using red line tape. That'll help it stay straight. To make sure that the card attaches straight to the front of the card, I'll just remove about an inch of the backing of the tape. And then carefully remove the rest of the backing when I line up the edge of the card perfectly with the edge of the watercolor paper. Now I'll just add a bit of washi tape along the edge. And I wasn't sure what color paper I should cut the hello there. So I'm auditioning a couple of different colors. And I think I like this dark coffee color. And I'll attach it with some dries clear glue. And it also dries fast, which is something I really like. I'm 
Well, I think as a finishing touch, I'll add a couple of pearls to mimic the white embossing powder. And I think that's it. Painting with coffee. It's easy and it smells good too. You can find the stamps for this card at the Cat's Pajamas. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day!